Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sacramento police need your help finding the suspect accused of punching a man diagnosed with autism in the face. Dashcam video shows a suspect push Steve Chapman from behind, then come back and hit him again. It's just sad that something like this could happen to him, you know. It hurts inside. A suspicious death investigation is underway after a man's body was found and recovered from a dairy lagoon in Merced. Lagoons store manure and liquid waste from livestock. Divers had to be treated by hazmat. The man found shot in his car downtown yesterday has died. Stockton police say the man's six-year-old son was also in the car but was not hurt. No arrests have been made. Father and stepmother Jordan and Lindsay Piper now face murder charges as well as abuse and torture in the death of 11-year-old Roman Lopez. Police say Lopez's body was found in a bin in the basement of the family's home, appearing malnourished and dehydrated. Kasumas Oaks High School and Elizabeth Pinkerton Middle School both went on precautionary lockdown today over reports of a weapon on campus. No weapons were found. Tonight, a Stockton family is searching for answers in the shooting deaths of a father and son. The father was shot while sitting in his car in January. The son shot while standing out Outside of a Motel 6 two months later. They still claim today that they didn't see anything. The X Street Homeless Shelter is up and already serving 70 people. The center includes a cafeteria, bathroom, showers, and even a kennel for pets. Governor Gavin Newsom will not be going to Scotland for the United Nations Climate Change Conference. His office says he canceled the trip because of family obligations and will send the lieutenant governor in his place. Today, the FDA granted emergency authorization for Pfizer's vaccine for ages 5 to 11. The final hurdle is the CDC, which will meet next week and is expected to give its approval. And tonight, Front Street Animal Shelter held their annual Pause to Party. The annual fundraiser brings in thousands of dollars for the Front Street Animal Shelter, helping to save the lives of stray, abandoned, and abused pets. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.